it's been a while since I did a vlog, so might as well explore a learning tool which I can use in the future. Anyways, I'm currently taking a continuing education program on instructing adults in George Brown College. This used to be called Teaching and Training Adults, and I'm taking the course right now on Adult Learning Fundamentals. In this class, it discusses some of the major theories on both learning and teaching. So these two, learning and teaching, go hand in hand. I believe one is to learn, be it for the moment or something, for life, to be able to teach, to give something, to pay it forward. So one of the things that is required of us is a reflection about what I learned after taking the Kolb's learning style inventory. I will go through this after giving you some idea about what Kolb thinks about how people learn. It is a simple paradigm actually. Kolb said that learning generally is a cycle with four phases and every person can start the cycle at any of the phases. He said we can learn by experience. He called this concrete experience or learn by reflecting which is reflective observation. And we deal with these experiences by thinking, which is abstract conceptualization, or doing, which is active experimentation. From these phases in the learning cycle, he said that each of us develop a preferred learning style. Take note of the word preferred. One can be a divergent, an assimilator, a converger, or an accommodator. Sounds like the Hunger Games. Each of these learning style profiles learners. And Kolb's learning style inventory does that. So what learning style do I prefer as a learner? According to Kolb's learning style inventory, I am an assimilator. What does that mean to me as a learner? Well, as an assimilator, I understand a wide range of information and put this information into concise logical form. I am less focused on people and more interested in abstract ideas and concepts. I find it important for theories to have logical soundness than practical value. I prefer to learn from lectures, readings, exploring analytical models, and having time to think things through alone. Among my strengths are planning, creating models, defining problems, developing theories, and being patient. Sounds about right for me. Wonder why I took up passionately philosophy and sociology and taught social sciences. Wonder why I like this course on adult learning fundamentals because it's all theories. Knowing the result of the inventory for me was more of a validation or affirmation of what I think my preferred learning style is. Going meta on how I think, how people think, or what I say and people say or sometimes do is something I have developed after studying philosophy in a community that thrives in that culture. It was encouraged, even enforced, as an academic culture. I think I have developed a clearer sense of my learning style when I started teaching and sensing that I had difficulty transferring knowledge and skills to my students. And so I had to recalibrate the way I think and teach, catering to many, if not all, learning styles. The paradigm that I used then was Gardner's Multiple Intelligences. I made it a point, no matter what course I was teaching or how many students I had, that I do the Multiple Intelligences inventory first before starting any topic. It was part of the introduction, the orientation, and the getting to know. And it helped me as a teacher to approach every learner differently, creating a base for every single one of them from where I can help facilitate learning. And surely to my students, the learners, it was fun for them to know what they are good at and what things they need to develop. Although of course I would revert back to my preferred learning style from time to time, I try as much as possible to explore and experiment on other ways of learning. And little by little as the context of where I have to learn and or teach changes, Kolb is right that it is a cycle that must never stop at one phase. And I don't even have to notice it when it surfaces, so to speak. It just comes up like stored knowledge when called for. Right now, as I hope to teach again here in Canada, as an assimilator, taking this program is logically the first step. No doubt about that. 
This program widens the playing field for me. I can be in any field who requires persons to learn. And when there are persons who need to learn, I should be there ready to help. If you want to know your preferred learning style, you can check a simplified self-administered inventory on Kolb's learning style. I've placed the link on this video. Thank you.